Alright guys, here I have the Corsair AX1200 power supply. Now, this is a 1200 watt power supply uh, and it's gold rated. Um, it has a 7 year warranty, incredibly enough. Uh, it has a single 12 volt rail. Um, so I'll just give you a quick look at a couple of things on the box. Uh, you can just pause those graphs there if you're interested, interested in that. Uh, basically, at 50% load it gets about 92% efficiency. Um, whereas at 100% load it gets about 89% efficiency. Um, and the fan goes from 24 up to about 30 to 32 decibels maximum. Um, and you can just read this right up as well if you're interested. Um, I'll just try and... There you go. Alright, let's have a look at the power supply itself. It comes in this lovely felt um, bag so I haven't pulled it out yet I thought I'd leave it in there so that I could show you guys not that I use I don't usually do um, any kind of unboxing but I just thought it was so awesome that it was um, wrapped up so nicely so all right I might um, get you off the oh actually no I'll leave the you on the tripod so lovely big power switch I really like having a switch on the back of my power supply um, because that's the way I cut power to my computer you know the only other way is to either pull the plug out or go to the wall unless you have a UPS so awesome nice massive switch um, that's actually the best one that I've seen yet and also doesn't have any kind of a custom plug like the um, Silverstone 1500 watt strider it's just the standard plug which is great um, just a Corsair AX 1200 logo on that side so it's a 100% modular power supply which um, is also awesome I don't really like it when they're not 100% modular when they've got a couple of cables you know some of them are ones that I well they're always cables that you want to use um, but they might be on um, a, a rail that you don't particularly want to use you know you want to spread the rails out so yeah I don't like it when they're not 100% modular for that reason um, so yeah peripherals and SATA here and um, PCI Express and CPU here 24 pin motherboard there so 24 pin motherboard is actually separated into two so again on that side just to, on either side it's the same logo um, here we have some power specs lovely big silent 135 millimeter fan uh, it's actually got a warranty voidive remove sticker just here um, but it's not actually oh yeah it's covering one of the screws what you get with the power supply is uh, I'll show you the cables in a minute user manual now I just wanted to show you something in this user manual all the lengths of the cables are right there so you can pause that and if you're planning a, a massive build if anyone's planning a build um, they can find out from my review exactly how long the cables are so they know that they'll reach and then you'll know whether you need to buy extension cables or not so hopefully that's useful to somebody out there. 
cable ties and also a lovely case badge, Corsair case badge and some screws for mounting the power supply also just a standard power cable now I am going to get you off the tripod and we're going to have a look at all the cables so I'm quite impressed with the way they've um, sleeved these cables or not sleeved them, some of them um, so over there we have the two 8 pin CPU power cables I've just had to put them on the floor because that's the only place that I've got so that's the way they've done it pretty nice I was considering um, sleeving these but I don't think I will they look nice enough you know they're all black that's the that's the main thing um, so yeah that's 24 pin motherboard and these are 4 pin molex and there's three of those but there's actually four molex on each one so that is a massive amount of molex that's 12 molex plugs which is absolutely awesome I'm pretty sure that that's oh, I was going to say more than the Silverstone Strider but I'm not uh, I'm not entirely sure on that one these are converters to um, floppy power um, you know not not exactly for a floppy drive but maybe for a something like this um, this is the Asus Sonar D2X sound card and it actually uses the old floppy power cable okay so SATA power there's four on each one um, and there's three of those and then there's two with two on each one so as you can see all these um, like peripheral connectors are not sleeved at all um, so it would be very easy to sleeve these you wouldn't have to remove any sleeving it would just be a matter of um, you know separating them and putting your own sleeving on them so I really like that um, it makes it very easy to do some sleeving so these are all PCI Express power connectors and there is six of them and they're all identical each has um, a six pin slash eight pin connector so it's optional six pin or eight pin so it's a maximum of um, six eight pin um, PCI Express power cables or six six pin and um, yeah the sleeving is is beautiful you know it's dense very dense it's um, very nicely done beautiful looking cables uh, and there's the cable bag over there so I'm pretty sure that I've covered everything that I wanted to I hope you enjoyed the review thanks for watching and please subscribe